that felt labely. Mm-hmm. Would you put in that category the songs you did with R. Kelly and Chris Brown? Oh, <laughs> you think I wanted? <laughs> I, I literally blo- I block out that R. Kelly song from my mind. I forget that that even exists. That is so embarrassing. That is so unreal that I even have a song with R. Kelly. That's so embarrassing. No. Like, yes, that was lately. Yeah, yeah, knowing yeah. you, it actually like hurts me that like somebody yeah, put hurts. you in that position. And, and I was so you to young too, which is crazy because I feel like I did that song when I just signed to that label. Like I was probably like 20. 20. Yeah, it- with both Brown and R. Kelly on Wednesday, September twelfth, the two on singer reflected on working with the men who both have been accused of abuse while in a conversation on the Zach Sang show. Both collabs arrived in 2015 in the early days of Tinashe's career, with the breezy assisted player coming just before the R. Kelly assisted, let's be real now. Both tracks were orchestrated by her then label RCA Records. You think I wanted to do those songs? She began, I literally block out that R. Kelly song from my mind. I forget that it even exists. That is so embarrassing. That is so unreal that I even have a song with R. Kelly, that's so embarrassing. Yes, that was labelly, and I was so young too. I feel like I did that song when I just signed to that label. I was probably like 20. That was crazy. She continued, you lack a lot of control in that situation. And especially when it comes to singles like the song with Chris, that was a song that we all wanted to be this big moment this big single. So I feel like in the label's mind, they were like, you need the support. And he was like their biggest artist that they had on rhythmic radio at the time. And to me, I was like, well, this is a pop song. 